I think one of the greatest ways that I have seen God move in the country is just with this incredibly palpable hope. We pray you will camp the strongest angel in person. It is very easy for those who are deepest in the conflict zones to lose hope. They are experiencing war and conflict and destruction and death on a daily basis. When Samaritan's Purse responds to a disaster, we oftentimes stand up a DART, Disaster Assistance Response Team. For the first part of any response, then that is the primary modality that we use. That is what we did in Ukraine. And now we are transitioning from that initial emergency response into a longer-term country office. From a long-term perspective, we are currently engaged in water, sanitation, and hygiene programming. We're engaged in providing food in the conflict zones. We're providing all of the necessary medical care to many displaced peoples, all sorts of different shelter programming to prepare the country for winter. The primary focus that we have is to address the needs that arise. So even though we may be setting up long-term programs from a basic framework perspective, we will remain flexible in ensuring that we're able to address the needs that come up. Now some of the greater needs that we see are actually inside of what we call the red zone. So inside of the areas that are, are dangerous where the conflict is continuing to rage, there are people who have remained, people who are not moving, people who are in danger on a daily basis. We have a network of hundreds of local church partners here in Ukraine that are able to extend the influence and the programming of Samaritan's Purse out into the, the furthest reaches of the country. This is their communities and their ability to come out of them to us and actually getting it into the hands of those who are, are suffering behind those lines is something that we think is going to have a profound impact on the hope that is felt by those Ukrainians, that they know that they have not been abandoned, that they know that the love of Christ is there no matter what is happening around them. This is a powerful thing. It's planting seeds for the harvest later. We do not know exactly what that is going to look like as the months and the years go on. But our duty, our job is to come here, speak the word of Christ, and how God continues to work here and develop that, that is something that we're excited to see.